See this tiny blue tick? You're probably so used to seeing it next to any text message on WhatsApp that you can barely notice it already. It seems so tiny and a non issue of any importance to our lives. But what if I told you that this tiny blue tick is actually responsible for a huge portion of your stress in relationships and could even get you into real trouble from time to time? If you wish to know how, keep watching, and you'll see for yourself pretty soon. In order to understand the real difference these blue ticks make, let's take emails, for example. When we send an email, we take into consideration that the recipient might be busy at that moment. We approach the communication with some extent of patience, so does the other side. We don't need to discuss or doubt it. This mutual understanding is set forth for us in the form of the media we use. However, ever since mobile phones have penetrated our lives, a significant portion of the traditional voice conversations have been replaced by direct, quick, and informal communication with text messaging. Still, since no one could ever know what was happening on the other side, the traditional mutual understanding of remaining patient was kept even on text messaging. But it seems that a single company succeeded in rising above all the others and genuinely broke the former mutual understanding by providing people with the desire to peek into others' lives. Facebook provides us a way to know whether the other person has read the message we sent by looking at the second tick and seeing if it turned blue or not. When we notice that the tick next to our message has turned blue, unconsciously we question if this person has read our message. And why hasn't he responded to me? It might still seem fine to us that our recipient doesn't respond for a few minutes or so, but as time ticks, the question in our mind turns into doubt, thinking, maybe he dislikes me, what is he hiding from me, and so on. Especially when that situation occurs, again and again, the doubt gradually permeates our minds and results in a feeling of bitterness to the other person. Before we even notice, we might find ourselves making accusations against that person without ever acknowledging the root cause of what made us bitter in the first place. A simple blue tick may be found responsible for the relationship crisis of so many who are holding long term relationships employee and his boss, close friends, roommates, and especially young lovers in their early stages. This negative effect also works the other way around. The recipient of the message is already aware that his actions have spoken loud and clear whether he opened the message or not, and that becomes a message in itself. So now, with any message he receives, he automatically reacts with some degree of stress or embarrassment. Both derive from the thought that I have to open the message right away to confirm I care and that I'm available. Regardless of what the other person is currently doing right now, whether he is driving, speaking to another person, or just not in the mood to respond right away, when he hears the sound or sees the notification that he has received a new message, he unconsciously begins to feel stressed. He is now subjected to some inner voice that demands, I must be responsive to any external inquiry that may show up at any time, anywhere, from anyone. That state of affairs results in a society in which all people are subjected to a stressful state of mind and believe they must always be available and always on call by anyone at any time. This is clearly the best option for Facebook. The company deliberately implemented that tiny and vicious feature to make sure this whole digital messaging system will keep accelerating, generate massive chunks of data, monetize, and convert money. As for the rest of us, we give away our sovereignty and damage our relationships, all for the immediate pleasure of peeking into others' personal lives. Fortunately, the option to disable this vicious blue ticker is available to anyone, anytime. Now, it's up to you to decide which option is best for you.